Yo guys, Oli Tat here and today we are back with another video. We are going to be playing another random game for the Xbox Game Pass. Today we are going to be playing a game called Coffee Talk. Where I don't know if you can hear the music, it might it might be copyright, so you might not be able to. But uh it feels like a very chill game. Like the music's very like uh lo-fi hip hop beats to study and relax to. Um but apparently the game's just really chill, you know, like you're working as a... I, th I think the premise of the game is you're working as a barista and you just come in and listen to people's problems and help them fix them. So I, I feel like this could be a fun game to play on the channel, just a little chill one, you know? What's your name? I'll, I'll, I'll put Ollie down. Is Ollie correct? I have just entered that. This is an endless mode. Um, I guess we just go to play a game, I guess. I should have gone... A game by Torch Productions. Seattle 2020. I knew it was Seattle because of the thing that's going above me there. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the greatest war between races is but a footnote in history. What? A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. That, that's not... I, I don't know if that's... Uh, specifically Seattle uh, two years ago. I think that's just Earth. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. But, um... I, I, I was about to say the green guy on the left. I hate to break it to you guys, but that's Frankenstein. But then I did notice that... Uh, why am I pointing up? You Yeah, up, up there, yeah. There's like, uh, it's when the elves have left the forest to build their startups, when the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires, when the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives, and when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Okay, I'm a big fan of music. Uh, c cigarettes. I need to stop pointing. <laughs> Cigarettes, huge L. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. It's called a building. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Yeah. I mean, also, I'm, I'm assuming as well because there's an endless mode that this game has a story, like it's a story based game, so I might play all of this. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. I want to check, did I upload a. Uh... Did I upload a video on this day? I might have actually uploaded a video on this day. I'm checking. I don't even care. I uploaded on one on the 19th. I did. I uploaded the Match Tax 20, tw tw yeah, 2020 2021 Golden Goal Scorers Mega Tin. Wow. And that got 75 views, to be fair. So, there you go. Was that even a Tuesday? Probably, you know. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Oh, it's you. It, I, I know this person, apparently. She has... Nine tattooed on her arm. In her Roman numerals. Freya. Hi, Ollie. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, what happened? My supply made some logistical errors. Also, I, I do want to check that option. Oh, no. Options are fine. Supply made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry, I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. We're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things so... Okay, writer's block again. You got that right. But you're writing now. You remember my plan to... 
Ah, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. If you get out to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need the triple shot espresso. Okay. Two minutes just this. Send coffee, coffee, and coffee, right? <laughs> I made a coffee! One cup of triple shot espresso. This is funny as well because I don't like hot drinks right, at all. I, I can tolerate hot chocolate, but you know, I'd rather, I'd rather just have like a Fanta or something, you know. I'd rather, have, I'd rather have water, to be honest. I, I, I don't like tea, I don't. I hate the smell of coffee. Um, and hot chocolate is just like, you know, it's. I, I'll have it if it's there, you know. I'd rather I'd rather drink it than bleach, you know. Uh, on occasions. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? You plan to do something. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. It seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes, it sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job, in case things go awry. Hehehe. Ha ha! Alright, did I say something wrong? No, you're right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the evening whispers? Gra Media, right? Yes. They also are the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity prevented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I went into one of the big guys in the elevator, so naturally I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know it was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he's seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours and I'm fully bound on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's right. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, it's so bad that after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero? Hoofed. Yes. What on earth is hoofed? I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan, if you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know, really glad this person could be in service. It looks like some of good thing. <laughs> Hello, you. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, hey, Amos. Yes, please. Not really short to order, though. What do you recommend? Entirely on your move. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. Or something chocolatey. It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate, please? Um... Ah. Chocolate, chocolate, and chocolate. Okay. I'm actually, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this game so far. It's, it's just done a lot of talking. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. Oh, she's she's spoken a lot. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. We went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only, only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it, and there's always someone longing for warm drinks at this hour. 
That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running a coffee shop like this? That's the secret. All you hear is damn rich, that's the secret. Too right, baby. See, I've got my money up and I've got my funny up. So what's next? Rhymezone.com. Getting my buddy up. Hugh Heffin is dead. Um, rhymes on. What rhymes with funny? Right, it's just said here that Ben 10. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Rhymezone.com here. I've searched words that rhyme with funny and it suggested Ben 10. What is going on here? It's also suggested 90210. It's a Travis Scott song, isn't it? <laughs> this is funny. Um, yeah, I've got my money up, I've got my funny up, now it's time to get my honey up because the girls fucked to me like bees. I've done it. I'm, what? What am I talking about? She's, she's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. I'll can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you around here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works at the best at night and in coffee shop. Not too many options for that. I no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. And you hate writing a new piece? I should be, but I don't even know what to write about. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Oh, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preference, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk or and draw some latte out on the top. You're a bit of a picky prick, aren't you? Green tea latte. He said he wanted latte. And it, uh, it's got milk in it. I'm just hoping it's bitter then. Because I, I don't know what... Here's your order. Anyway, I was distracted by someone, by some work plus there's rain. It's okay, Bailey's. His name's not Bailey's, is it? His parents, his parents must be alcoholics if they've named him. Not even Bailey, Bailey's. Implying that there's multiple of him. I was having a nice chat with him. Oh yeah, I am properly introduced myself. I'm, I'm Bailey's. Yeah, yeah, she mentioned you've got a stupid name, mate. Oh my, where am I, man? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lula. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet the both of you. Hi, Molly. Did you know that Freya here is the writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Haha, <laughs> come on, he's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course, no matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers around here? The only bad customers this late night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Ah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> in, in more ways, what the depth the, the, the I was, I was going to say in more ways than one and do that. Ah ha ha. But, um. I, I stuttered and, you know, completely ruined it. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though, even though so far I'm two. I'm, I'm two for three, you know. He, he asked for milk and he asked for a latte, some drawing on the top of his coffee, like a fanny. Not a drawing of a fanny, I'm saying. You're. you're I'm, I'm saying you're a fanny if you go into a coffee shop saying, Oh, can, can, can you draw a, a, a an atom on the top of me coffee, please? Or else I'll have a mental breakdown. Just go away. Um, 
I've had like 15 mental breakdowns in this video so far. And we're only 15 minutes in. Thank you, I say that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you to an Antifal friendly neighborhood barista. That's me. What are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my fault. Okay, have fun. Hey, hey, hey. I'll try. <laughs> I sound mental. I, I was going to say I sound mentally deranged reading these lines, but I sound mentally deranged half the time, to be fair. And the other half of the time I don't speak. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to the other six team? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I can get out of the office. Plus my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy go and lucky person. Well he is, but today was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing Miss Hansel Mooch. He was off his head on at ecstasy. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. 2022. Oh, this is set in 2020 to be fair, but I mean that was still over two years ago. If life, if if you, the, 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 that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.